many times our, our patients tell us that they have difficulty keeping the denture in place, that uh, they're not confident that they can smile or laugh without it, it coming loose, that they, there are things they can't eat. So all of those problems are, are uh, corrected with, with implants. That when the tooth or an implant is in the bone, it stimulates the bone and, and keeps that bone there. As soon as that is removed and there's no longer internal stimulation in the jawbone, it begins to dissolve away. <coughs> so that's the, that's the first thing. But the second thing that happens is bone dissolves under pressure. That's why orthodontics work. When the orthodontist wants to move a tooth, he puts pressure on the tooth and it moves through the bone. <coughs> The pressure of a denture, or the pressure of an ill-fitting denture, is even worse because it doesn't put, put pressure on the bone evenly. So over time, the chin gets closer to the nose. So what happens to us when we lose our teeth? You can see that the bone is lower here where the teeth had been. Uh, teeth start to shift as well. When there's no neighbor beside the tooth, they'll shift in the bone. That creates gaps between the teeth, and those, uh, those gaps contribute to uh, further decay and gum disease and further tooth loss eventually. So the, fir the, the most of the bone loss occurs in, in, the, in the first six months or so. And as it continues to be lost, that's irreversible. We can't get it to grow back. Today, with, with modern implant technology, we are recommending that uh, patients have their implants either at the day of extraction or very shortly after extraction to, so that the remaining bone can be 